and welcome to music. Today we're doing a few things that we've done before and we'll do a couple of new things as well. So let's get ready to go and we'll start with our good mornings. Good morning everyone. your hands on your shoulders, sing back and sit down. Good morning everyone. Good morning all the girls. Good morning all the boys. Good morning if you like it when the sun shines. Good morning if you like it when it snows. If you like it when it's very windy. Good morning everyone. Well done. Now we're going to do our alphabet and we're going to sing down like this. Listen first. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Okay, here we go. Take a big breath. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. And again. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Well done. And now for the Dum Dum song. So just to remind you, the first verse we have two taps on our knees, two claps. The second verse we have two taps on our knees, then one to, to one side, back to the middle, other side and so on. Third verse, two taps on your knees, cross your hands, back to your tapping, out the way. And the fourth verse is tapping on your knees and then to shoulders. If you're doing it with somebody, if you're not doing it with anyone, just pretend. Here we go, here's the introduction. Dum dum da 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 dum dum da da dum dum da 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 dum 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 side to side. So we're starting with the even numbers on the left hand side and then the odd numbers on the right hand side. Here's the introduction. <laughs> This time you're going to clap every time there's a wee line beside a number. This is a five times table. Here we go. 20, 18, 16, 14, 12, 10, 8, 6, 4, 2, none. 19, 17, 15, 13, 11, 9, 7, 5, 3, and 1. Well done. This time you're not clapping. This time, every time you see a star, you're going to tap your knees once. This is a three times table. 20, 18, 16, 14, 12, 10, 8, 6, 4, 2, 9, 19, 17, 15, 13, 11, 9, 7, 5, 3, and 1. 
This time you're not clapping, you're not tapping, this time you are stamping where there is a box or a rectangle. So that's only on 15 and none. We'll go a wee bit faster because this is quite easy. 20, 18, 16, 14, 12, 10, 8, 6, 4, 2, none. 19, 17, 15, 13, 11, 9, 7, 5, 3 and 1. So now it's a tricky bit. If there's a wee line, you clap. If there's a star, you tap. And if it, there's a box or a rectangle on 15 and none, you stamp only. Don't try and do lots of things at once. Here we go from the beginning. 20, 18, 16, 14, 12, 10, 8, 6, 4, 2, none. 19, 17, 15, for Wellerman. Remember to count to eight before you start. There once was a ship that put to sea The name of the ship was a bully of tea The winds blew up her bow up down Oh below my bully boys blow <gasps> Soon may the Wellerman come To bring us sugar and tea and rum One day when the tonguing is done We'll take our leave and go She'd not been two weeks from shore When down on her a right whale bore The captain called all hands and swore He'd take that whale in tow <laughs> Soon may the weller man come To bring us sugar and tea and rum One day when the tonguing is done We'll take our leave and go da 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 before the boat had hit the water, the whale's sail came up and caught her Hands to the side, harpooned and fought her when she dived down low <gasps> Soon may the weller man come to bring us sugar and tea and rum One day when the tonguing is done, we'll take our leave and go no line was cut, no whale was freed The captain's mind was not of greed And he belonged to the whaleman's creed She took that ship in tow <gasps> Soon may the weller man come To bring us sugar and tea and rum One day when the tonguing is done We'll take our leave and go Da 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 
for 40 days or even more The lane went slack, then tight once more All boats were lost, there were only four But still that will did go <gasps> Soon may the weller man come To bring us sugar and tea and rum One day when the tonguing is done We'll take our leave and go as far as I've heard, the fight's still on The lane's not cut and the whale's not gone The willow man makes his regular call To encourage the captain crew and all Soon may the willow man come To bring us sugar and tea and rum One day when the tonguing is done We'll take our leave and go Soon may the willow man come To bring us sugar and tea and rum One day when the tonguing is done We'll take our leave and go Today we're going to have a shot at making some musical instruments. Quite easy ones. First of all, we're going to have a drum. So I started off with a dried milk powder um, tub. Other milk powders are available. So I waited until I had finished what was in the tub. Okay, don't go raiding your, your cupboards without asking people. Okay, so I, I took one of these and I covered it in some sticky tape I had. If you don't have any sticky, nice sticky tape, you could cover it in a piece of paper. You could draw something on it first of all, and then stick it on. I left the lid on so I can use this up sound. I could use the bottom of it. I could use the side. So that's a good one. You could also, instead of playing with your hand, you could play with something else. So if I play with a pencil, this at the bottom, oh, it's very loud, and the side. So if you were playing, you could do the top. That sort of thing. It's okay, so that's a good one. That's a good drum. Here's something else it would do as a drum. So we had a tub of sweeties in our house. They didn't last long. Once all the sweeties were eaten, um, you could cover it in something. I haven't done that this time, but this would make a good drum. Turn it upside down. Slightly different sound on the side. Tapping it with a pencil, end of a pencil. Quite good on the side, on the bottom. You could do, or with your hand. So that's another drum. So we've done drums. The next one that we would, we would like is a shaker. So I've taken, this is a little tin of yeast. We make a lot of bread in our house. So I had an empty yeast uh, tin. I've got the lid on securely, but inside I've put some lentils. But you could put, I don't know if you can see that. Yep, there's the lentils. You could put some uncooked rice in, or maybe some pasta, that sort of thing. Something else you might have that would be good for a shaker would be a water bottle with a lid. If you got a small water bottle, and put in some pasta into it or some, some rice, uncooked rice, don't put anything cooked in it, it'll go mouldy and yucky. Um, and then put the lid on securely and then shake. So I'm quite pleased with that. So that's our shaker. So we have our drums, we have our shakers, a bit like maracas, and now we're on to sticks or cleaves. So I have two wooden spoons, hold them upside down by the spoony bit and then you just tap. So that's really good. You could use two wooden spoons, you could use two pencils, you could use chopsticks, you could use, what else? two sticks out of the garden, or if you had drumsticks, you could use them. Now for our last instrument today, um, 
we're going to have a tambourine. Now I have a tambourine. A tambourine is a bit like a, a small drum, but it has jingly bits on the side. So that when you tap your tambourine, you hear the drum bit, but you also hear the shaky bit as well. And people who play tambourine can play it like this. Or you could tap it. So we're going for that kind of sound and I've made fairly simple tambourine. We're going to take a plastic bag. I've taken four forks out of the kitchen drawer. Please ask before you do this. I'm putting the forks into the poly bag. Okay, four forks. Putting them loosely in the poly bag. I'm going to turn it over a wee bitty and I'm going to put it flat down on my hand with the prongs of the forks facing down the way so that we don't hurt our hand. So I have my forks in the poly bag and it should sound vaguely like a tambourine. Let's see if it does. It's not dreadful. It's okay. So if we don't have a tambourine, we could use our forks in our bag. And our drum sound is making this pattern. We're just keeping the beat all the way through. When we get to the chorus, we're going to do two in the top and two in the bottom. And so on. So our shaker with our lentils or pasta or whatever is going to do this pattern all the way through. It's quite sore in your arm, quite tiring in a way, okay? So that's the shaker. Our sticks are going to do ham and eggs, ham and eggs, ham and eggs, ham and eggs, ham and eggs and eggs most of the way through. I think there's a bit in a verse I just kind of keep the beat okay but most of it is ham and eggs, ham and eggs. Our tambourine sound which is our forks and our plastic bag are going to do the pattern which is scrambled eggs which is scrambled eggs, scrambled eggs, scrambled eggs, scrambled eggs. There's going to be a short introduction and then we'll start. So today you could either stop the video, go and find something to make an instrument with, play an instrument if you have one, or if you're not able to think of anything and you don't have anything to make one with, clap along. Choose one of the parts and play with me. with Google and we're looking for Chrome Music Lab. 
And there it is at the top. And this brings up a, a host of different activities, sound waves, arpeggios, Kandinsky, voice spinner, spectrogram, rhythm, but the one we want is song maker. So click on that and this page opens. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go down to settings at the bottom right, click on settings. And we're going to go up and we're going to change the scale. At the moment, the scale is major. We're changing it to pentatonic, which we know is a five note scale. We're also going to change the range. At the moment, the range is two octaves. We're going to take it down to one octave. And then we're going to click OK. We're also going to take the tempo down to 80. So move that slider along, about 80, that'll do. And now we're going to look and see about the instruments. So at the moment, it's set on marimba. That's the sound of a marimba. But it can do other ones. It can do piano. It can do strings and various other ones. But I like marimba, which is a percussion instrument, a bit like a xylophone. So we'll just stick with marimba. And then we just have to start putting in our different notes to make our tune. Let's hear what that sounds like. Not bad. Let's put in some more. to that bit. Then we're going to put in a couple of rests. And we'll listen to that. Finish it off. And listen to the whole thing. Pretty good. Now if you look at the bottom beside marimba, it has a drum bit. So it's got electronic drums, blocks, it's got kit and it's got conga. I like the blocks one the best, so I'm going to put it on that. And I'm going to put <coughs> a block sound at the beginning of each bar. So that's, in this case, it's every fourth big box. Let's hear what that sounds like. Also going to add in another sound. I'm just putting these in fairly randomly. left for me to do is to speed it up a wee bitty, taking it up to 113. Mm -hmm. 
So you can have lots of fun with this. The microphone bit, you can add in your own voice. And then at the right hand side at the bottom, you can save your composition. Well done. To finish off today, we're going to do a song called Get Up and Sign. Many of us already know this, but if we don't, or we can't quite remember, we're just going to go over it. So watch the girl on screen. She'll show us what to sign. If we're at home, we can sing along as well. Get up and sign. Come on, get up and sign. Using hands, yours and mine. So get up and sign. Get up and sign. Come on, get up and sign. Using hands, yours and mine. Get up and sign. Show the world just how you're going to do this tune. Using hands and faces and voices too. A chance to come together for me and you. It's gonna make you want to say. Get up and sign. Come on, get up and sign. Using hands, yours and mine. So get up and sign. Get up and sign. Come on. Get up and sign. Using hands, yours and mine. Get up and sign. And that's all from me for this week. Well done with all your music making. I'll see you next time. Bye.